Good morning everybody. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's challenges and I hope you will remember to bring a toilet roll um, or three toilet rolls or two toilet rolls. Remember I said one, two or three. Uh, we're going to have fun with our toilet rolls today for our different challenges. Um, we're going to start off with a little warm up again as usual and then we're going to get straight into our challenges. Some of them are going to be easy, some of them are going to be hard and we're going to find ways to make them harder as well. Um, and we've got a nice final challenge again um, that we're all going to have fun with. So pause the video if you haven't got any toilet rolls or you can pause it after we've done the warm up and then we will get started. So I want you to start with marching. So we're going to march. Remember, get your knees as high as possible. Going to march. Keep marching. Okay, and we're going to start jumps. Keep going, and we're gonna reach high. Reach all the way up on your tippy toes, reach as high as you can. Reach as high as you can, turn around. And down, reach down. Remember, keep your legs straight. Reach down, okay. And we're gonna bring our arm across, and we're gonna stretch to the side. And we're going to swap, so we're going to bring our other arm across. We're going to stretch this side. Oh, lovely. Okay. And we're going to bring our arm over. And we're going to stretch over. And we're going to bring our arm over this side. Okay, I'm going to do some big circles. And we're going to finish off with a sprint okay so i want you to sprint on the spot as fast as you can ready we're gonna go for 10 seconds go five seconds left keep going three two and one okay well done get yourselves a drink and get yourselves ready so challenge number one we are going to start with one toilet roll, okay? We only need one toilet roll. So, we are going to start on the floor. We're going to have one hand holding the toilet roll and we're gonna have one foot placed on the floor, one leg straight, and this hand cannot touch the floor at any point. Whilst balancing, the toilet roll, I want you to try and stand up, okay? So remember, this hand cannot touch the floor and you need to try and hold on to the toilet roll. So nice and easy, we're gonna hold on to the toilet roll like this, okay? And we're gonna try to stand up. So when you're ready, I'm gonna get up as well. Go. What? <sighs> okay, that was very easy, wasn't it, guys? Very, very easy. Is there any way we can make it harder? Of course there is. Maybe we could try and balance the toilet roll on the back of our hand, like this. This is a little bit harder, isn't it? It's not as easy to balance. So we're gonna try it again, okay? So we're gonna get back down. We're gonna put, remember, one foot on the floor, one foot straight. And remember, we don't want this hand to touch the floor when we're standing up. And remember, we're going to balance it on the back of our hand this time, so it's a little bit harder, okay? So, we've got to try and stand up. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> a little bit harder, that one. Okay, did you manage to do it? I wobbled that time, so I think I need a little bit more practice. So, I'm going to do it one more time to see if I can stand up without nearly dropping it, okay? Uh, so, we're going to do it one more time. And then we're going to move on. So remember, foot on the floor, leg straight, hands not allowed to touch the floor, and I'm going to balance it on the back of my hand. Okay, and we're going to try and get up without wobbling this time. Oh, that was a lot better. If you want to try and make it harder for yourself, if you want to have another go, you can try different ways of balancing. It might be harder if you balance it on the side. Okay, it might be harder if you balance it, try and balance it on 
two fingers. Try different ways that you can balance it if it's too easy for you. Okay, so we've got challenge number two. So we've done some balancing on our hands before, but this time I want you to balance on your head. So I want you to put the toilet roll on your head. And what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and sit down and stand up without dropping the toilet roll, okay? This time we can use our hands. So you can use your hands to help you. You've just got to try and sit down without the toilet paper falling off of your head, okay? So if you do it nice and slow, you get our bodies down. Try not to drop the toilet roll. Gonna put the body. Oh, so if you drop it, we're gonna start again. So we keep going, we're gonna put it on our head and we're gonna take a seat. Gonna keep going. It's okay if you drop it. Just keep trying. Okay, nearly there. So we've managed to sit down, put our legs out in front of us. Can we now stand up without dropping it off our heads? Okay, so I'm gonna try and stand up. Do you think I can do it? Let's try. Oh, oh so close. I think I should have that one because I nearly got there. Well done guys, keep trying. It is hard, some of them are harder, some of them are easier. If you find that easy, I want you to see if you can do it quicker, okay? I want you to see if you can stand up and sit down quicker than you did it the first time. So, we're going to move on to challenge number three. So we don't need any toilet rolls at the moment for this challenge. Um, we just need ourselves and the floor. So, we're gonna do the plank challenge, okay? So we're going to try and plank for 30 seconds. Everybody's different. Everybody can do it for 10 seconds. Some people can do it for three seconds. Some people can do it for 15 seconds and some people can do it for 30. Do it for as long as you can do it, but I want you to try your hardest, okay? So uh, when we get into a plank position, we need to remember that our uh, backs of our, our bodies need to be straight. So when we get down, arms down on elbows, and as you can see, my bottom is not up in the air like this. It is down and no part of my body is touching the ground other than my toes and my forearms, okay? That's the only parts of my body that are touching the floor. And you are, we are gonna try and stay in that position for as long as we can, okay? The maximum we're going to do is 30 seconds. I'm not very good at this, but I'm gonna give it my best try. Are you ready? So arms down, legs out straight, bottom down, and you're gonna hold it, okay? Hold it for as long as you can. Try and push yourself a little bit, not too much. Keep going. Twenty seconds. And stop there. Okay, so as you can see, I'm hot now. I tried my hardest, my body was shaking, and then I stopped when I was finished. So, you can try that again, give your body a rest, try the plank again, see if you can do it longer than the first time. And our last challenge for today, you either need one, two, or three toilet rolls. If you only have one, your challenge is to try and flip the toilet roll so it lands perfectly, just like that. If you have more than one toilet roll, if you have two, after you've made the first one land perfectly, I want you to see if you can land this one on top of that one. Okay, so we're gonna keep trying. We're gonna keep trying. If that's too hard, just see if you can land them up the right way. Just keep seeing if you can land them up the right way. And if you can, if anybody is able 
to land three toilet rolls like that please 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 send a picture into your teachers because i really really want to see so we're going to move on to the final challenge which um i want you to try in your own time i want you to maybe compete with some family members if um they if you're able to do it with them and um, all you will need for this final challenge is a pair of socks so you need to be wearing a pair of socks okay and this challenge is called work your socks off so what i want you to do is you're not allowed to use your hands in this challenge so you get into position so if you lay your bodies down and what you're going to do is you're going to get your back up and your legs up nice and straight and then i want you to try and remove your socks using your feet okay and i want you to time how long it takes you to remove your socks from your feet without using your hands upright in this position okay and i've done it i hope you've enjoyed the challenges i hope you have a go at the last final challenge as well um, and i look forward to seeing you tomorrow please have fun and please 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 send your pictures in um have fun guys and hopefully i'll see you tomorrow